Race 29, the Everest. This is the first ever running of the Everest for starters orders. It's a six furlong Group 1 from Royal Randwick in New South Wales, Australia. And up the top is Randolph Scott for Joshua Sutherland, Heart Star Girl, Digital Prince, Dollop the Favourite, Press Conference for Paul Rhodes, Jane's Rose and Jilly Joy for Steve Rand, number seven. They'll go lickety split. It's the cream trainers in this only, and they're set and racing in the Everest. Bouncing quickly was Jilly Joy for Steve Rand. Jockey quickly takes hold. Out wide at the favourite press conference and pushing through as Digital Prince. Also there, Randolph Scott, and down on the fence is Heart Star Girl. They're tightly bunched, as you'd expect. This is the best sprinters in the league. They're running for $10 million, and it's Randolph Scott leading from Heart Star Girl. Out wider, Jilly Joy with press conference. Between them, Digital Prince and wider again, Dollop, and in behind them, James Rose looking for some daylight. Two furlongs left to run, and they straighten up in the Everest, and Digital Prince takes an early lead at the top of the straight from Jilly Joy. Heart Star Girl, press conference, Randolph Scott, Dollop, anyone's race inside the furlong, down at the half. Digital Prince still in front from Jilly Joy, press conference, and it's going to be Digital Prince. Digital Prince wins the first Everest from press conference, Heart Star Girl. Well, this is how you want to see the race. How tightly packs that? Three links first to last. Tops. And Thunderspark gets up with Digital Prince. Congratulations, Thunderspark. You go into the SO6 history books. The first Everest winner and $6 million. Second, press conference, Paul Rhodes. Third, and the favourite, third was Heart Star Girl, Jim Murray. Had the fence all the way. Fourth was Jilly Joy, Steve Rand. Fifth was Randolph Scott, Joshua Sutherland. Sixth was Darren Thompson, Stollop. And seventh was Jane's Rose, Go Sapper. And both those horses missed the money, but not by much.